Hi, second graders, and welcome to lesson three of EL, The Little Hummingbird. We've been learning about story elements. Remember, those are the things that make up a story. The setting is where the story takes place. It could be a mall, it could be the moon. The characters are the person or animal that a story is about, like the bear and the little bee. The problem or challenge is something difficult that the characters struggle with. This is something that is hard for them to deal with. The response is how the characters react. What do they do, say, or think? The solution is how the problem is fixed. The central message is what the author is trying to teach us. This is also called the lesson or moral. For example, a problem that some of us might have in our real life is that we don't always understand how to complete an assignment. Hmm, what could my response to this problem be? What could I do, say, or think? Today, we're reading a fable called The Little Hummingbird. Remember, a fable is a short tale that teaches a lesson. As we read, think about this question. What is the problem in the little hummingbird? How do the characters respond? As you'll see, sometimes characters have very different responses to the same problem. The little hummingbird. Here is the story of the great forest that caught on fire. The terrible fire raged and burned. All of the animals were afraid and fled from their homes. The elephant and the tiger ran. The beaver scurried and the frog leapt away. Above them, the birds flew in a panic. Where is the setting of this story? Who are the main characters in this story? The setting is in the forest. The main characters are the little hummingbird and the other animals of the forest. The creatures huddled at the edge of the forest and watched, all except for one. Hmm, based on the title, I wonder who that one character might be. Little Hummingbird did not abandon the forest. Abandon means to leave behind with no plan to return or to give up responsibility. The Little Hummingbird did not do that. She stayed. She flew as fast as she could to the stream. She picked up a single drop of water in her beak. Little Hummingbird flew back and let the water fall onto the ferocious fire. How did the Little Hummingbird respond to the problem? What did she do or say? She flew to the stream and carried back drops of water to put out the fire. Wow, she seems very, very brave. She dashed to the stream and brought another drop, and she continued back and forth and back and forth. The other animals watched the little hummingbird, and they were frightened. What can I do? sobbed Rabbit. The fire is hot, and I am scared. The fire is so big, howled Wolf, and I am so small. I can't do anything about this fire, croaked Frog. My wings will burn, cried Owl. Little Hummingbird continued her work. She quickly, she flew quickly, picking up more water and putting it drop by drop onto the burning forest. Well, we know Little Hummingbird responded to the problem by trying to help and bringing water. How did the other animals respond to the problem? What did they do or say? They ran away and said they were, they were too scared and small and couldn't do anything to help. They watched the little hummingbird carry water. Finally, Big Bear said, Little hummingbird, what are you doing? Little hummingbird looked at the other animals. She said, I am doing what I can. In the end, was the problem solved?
what do you think the central message or moral or lesson is? What do you think the author might have wanted us to learn? In the end, no, the problem wasn't solved. The fire was not put out, but the little hummingbird tried her best. The central message might be that even if the problem is very big, do the best you can to fix it. Even small actions can make a difference. You should try your best to help and don't give up. Even if the challenge is great, do what you can to help. Oftentimes, a fable will have more than one lesson. All right, second graders, now it's time to try on your own. You're going to go back to Google Classroom and complete the little hummingbird problem and responses. Make sure you click on this little symbol to hear the directions when you get to your page.